problem is, it's true. You're oppressed, you're oppressed, you're oppressed, you're oppressed. God only knows why. Maybe you're too short or you're not as beautiful as you could be. Or, you know, your parent, your grandparent was a serf. You know, and you're not as smart as you could be. You have a sick relative and you have your own physical problems. And it's like, frankly, you're a mess. And you're oppressed in every possible way, including your ancestry and your biology. The entire sum of human history has conspired to produce victimized you with all your individual pathological problems. If you take the oppressed, you have to fractionate them and fractionate them. It's like, you're a woman. Yeah, okay, well, I'm a black woman. Well, I'm a black woman who has two children. Well, I'm a black woman who has two children and one of them isn't very healthy. My husband is an alcoholic brute. It's like, well, yeah, that sucks too. Well, so let's fix all your oppression. And we'll take every single thing into account and then we'll fix yours too. We'll take every single thing into account. But no, you won't because you can't. You can't. It is technically impossible. First of all, you can't even list all the ways that you're oppressed. Second, how are you going to weight them? Third, who's going to decide? That's the bloody thing. Who's gonna decide? That's the thing. There's a tremendous illogic at the bottom of this. It's like, you have to fractionate the oppressed all the way down to the level of the individual. So what do you do about that? I thought about that for a long time too. There's this idea that hell is a bottomless pit, and that's because no matter how bad it is, some stupid son of a bitch like you could figure out a way to make it a lot worse. So you think, well, what do you do about that? Well, you accept it. That's what life is like. It's suffering. Put yourself together. You know there's a few things you could, like, polish up a little bit that you might even be able to manage in your insufficient present condition and so you might shine yourself up a little bit and then your eyes will be a little more open then you shine yourself up a little bit more and then maybe you could bring your family together instead of having them be the hateful spiteful neurotic infighting batch that you're like doomed to spend christmas with i'm stunned every day when i go outside and it isn't a riot with everything burning Really? God, you talk to people, it's like, that's how our civilization works. It's like, my God, it's unbelievable. It's, it's a miracle. <sighs> Anyways, get yourself together. Transcend your suffering. See if you can be some kind of hero. Make the suffering in the world less. Well, that's the way forward, as far as I can tell, if there is any way forward. You want to have a meaningful life? Everything you do matters. That's the definition of a meaningful life. But everything you do matters. So you're going to have to carry that with you.